What did you mean when you talked about the tragedy of the male sex drive? <laughs> uh, yes, well, uh, I'm using the tragedy and the term uh, in the more advanced literary criticism. I mean, Arthur Miller had a famous uh, essay, a tragedy is not just something bad happening. Uh, but it's sort of a, a fatal flaw in yourself and you're striving for something great. Uh, but because of the flaw, you, you fail. And he said, uh, he said, in a sense, tragedy, although it has an unhappy ending, it's more uplifting than comedy is comedy sort of looks at people's faults and foibles and bad things. And so, and so I describe it as a tragedy. I'm not saying it's, it's a calamity. I'm not even saying that it's, that it's a bad thing, but uh, it seems doomed uh, to falling short of its of its desires. That men were just instilled to want more sex than they're likely to get. Um, I think uh, a while ago we cited some research by one of my colleagues who, who surveyed her first year college students of uh, well, if you if you wanted. Uh, how many people would you like to go to bed with for the rest of your life, assuming it was all up to you? Don't worry about diseases or laws or pregnancy or anything. It's just, you know, to experience sex. How many people would you like to do it? And the average for the women was, was two and a half. And the average for the men was 64. Now, with that, there's a lot of disappointment ahead for those young men. <laughs> Um, but it's, it's true. Now it must be said, a lot of the men just said, I'd like to have one. Presumably they hadn't had any yet. And do you think, well, if I could get one, that would be perfect. But the man who's had one kind of wishes he would have two or three and the man who's had three, maybe wishes for six or seven and the man who's had 10 may wish for, for 15. And, uh, you know, I've known men who had over a hundred sex partners and they were still wishing for more. Um, and that kind of, again, suggests this tragic flaw aspect that you, nature did not design you to be satisfied that, oh, I've had my sex and it was great and I'm done with that. <laughs> uh, no, and, and having it more makes you think of it more. So it, it stimulates more desire to try new things and do new things with different people or the same people. Um, so in that sense, it seems uh, somewhat doomed to frustration. And um, I've also been thinking in, in terms of the uh, what I mentioned before, uh, that uh, we were talking about how women shaped men. I think women probably shaped men toward higher sex drive. As, as, as I said, other apes, they don't take fatherhood seriously at all. The idea that you should provide food for your children that, that would seem ridiculous to them, and especially doing it on a regular basis over many years, and even to the mother of those children, who, after all, is just some gorilla you had sex with a couple of years ago. Uh, no, no, that that would seem ridiculous to them. Uh, and yet human males do this routinely. So when that was evolving, there were probably plenty of men who had the same outlook that the, your average gorilla does and say, come on. I have to work twice as hard to produce twice as much food every day and give half of it to this wife and baby. Uh, that seems nuts. And, and uh, well, those men took themselves out of the gene pool, right? Uh, if they didn't want to play along uh, and put up with uh, supporting the women. And, uh, you know, um, I've known many women who are delightful and, uh, and fine people and so on. But inevitably, some of them are difficult and neurotic and unpleasant and, and all that. And, uh, well, what's to make the man make the commitment and, and, and stay with them, too? They need, they need providers to support them and their children. And the desire for sex is a strong thing. And so I, I'm suspecting that the human male population has a higher sex drive than the animals we evolved from and that they were specifically selected not in those terms but uh, uh the women would reproduce with the men who wanted sex enough to uh, stay committed and, and put up with whatever the women's uh, demands and problems are so a high sex drive would would be selected there 
uh, it's it's ironic because of course women complain about men being too sexually motivated, and uh, although they also complain when men stop making advances and and so on. It's a uh, uh, it's, it's a it's, difficult it's balance a, to strike. It's a difficult bargain, you know. Uh, glad I'm not a young man trying to figure out what the rules are today as they keep changing. What's happening, people? If you enjoyed that, then press here for the full unedited episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace. <laughs>